this is Geek Fuzzy Weasel, and I have been extremely, 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 extremely busy. See, I made the classic mistake of, I'm actually, I'm pretty sure it is the habitual, like, first time mistake that anyone who tries to put out a video a day makes on a certain month. And that is, I did not make the videos ahead of time. Or rather, I did not make the videos ahead of time enough. So these daily crappy pastas, yeah, I really should have had them all done in September, or maybe August. But no, I, I didn't. I had about seven of them done in September. Which means I have been spending, like, days sitting in front of the computer, rendering out each and every one of these fucking things. And I am sick to death of looking at them. But I'm finally caught up enough, and I, I think I'm good till the 22nd, I'm caught up enough to where I feel like I might be able to devote a little more time to doing the videos that people also want to see. Although this here is an experimental video. So welcome to Buyer Beware. It's a show that I will occasionally do because I do, at times, buy really cheap stuff on eBay. Case in point. This here is a 32 gig third generation MP3 player that I bought. Because I... Look, I know you can listen to music on your phone, and I'm probably going to concede and do that, even though I don't like the idea of running my phone battery down playing music. But I just, I have this, this pension for dedicated devices, and an MP3 player to me is a dedicated music playing device. So anyway, I bought this one, and I bought it on sale. Uh, the guy normally sells them for $22.99. I got it on sale for sixteen eighty nine, I think. Yeah, I spent my, uh, I got my money's worth. So let's examine this thing just outside and inside. First, we're going to talk about the packaging. Plastic's pretty good, but, uh, first thing I noticed when I saw it, this font, really? Yeah, this, this sure does, yeah, this little frilly kind of font definitely says professional to me. The second thing you're gonna notice is this thing is called MP4. Here's the deal. MP4 in this context does not stand for MP4. It stands for the model number of this thing. Not what it can play, the model number. I bought a model MP4. Okay? That cannot be not intentional. And if you look at the back, it says MP4, MP3, voice recorder, photo browser, ebook reader, USB flash disk. Because I'm sure someone wants to read an ebook on a screen that big and it doesn't protect from glare. And also these buttons are fucking hard to use, but we'll get to that. So let's open it up. And right away, this thing is the flimsiest most cheapest thing I think of, I've ever bought out of out of any kind of electronic device. I mean, look at that. I can press the plastic down on it. Is this normal? So this thing probably weighs about, I don't know, four ounces, maybe less, probably way, way less. It's got your standard kind of iPod layout. Yeah, so this thing claims it has a voice recorder. So the thing on the back, all right, the thing on this thing, the, the thing on the back here says MP4. However, if we open it up and we take the headphones out, which by the way are horribly cheap and sound bad. I know, right? I got what I paid for. Believe me, I'm not complaining. I'm not saying I got gypped. I am fully aware that I spent $16 on this thing and I should not be surprised. So this is the manual that comes with it. Now in the manual though, it has listed on it the, uh, the functions and what it can do. And right on here, it says the music it can support is MP3, WMA, and the video it can support is AMV and MTV. Mentions nothing about MP4. So, the outside of this package does not reflect the manual. But, get this, if you look at the manual, and we get to the description of the player itself in the manual... It does not match at all 
this thing. For example, in the manual, it shows the on-off button as being located up here, which it's not, it's located down here. It says that there's a volume control right on this button, which it's not, this is the play control. It says the play control is up here, but that's not true because this is menu. It claims the on button is this middle button, but this middle button is actually the volume control. So the packaging does not match the manual and the manual does not match the MP3 player, which doesn't match the packaging or the manual. So these three things don't belong together in any fashion. It just so happens that they all happen to be about an MP3 player with the same form factor. And I'm like wondering how the fuck does that happen? Like, did the guy have all this stuff spread out and he just picks it from random? Like, yeah, this is, this looks like this and this goes in here and I'll, there. So this thing had a real nasty habit when I bought it of staying on, and I mean staying lit up and, and controllable for about five nanoseconds. I actually had to go into the settings and change it to like 20 seconds so I could actually figure out what was going on. And very quickly after I turned this thing on, I realized that this button here barely works. I mean, yeah, you hear it clicking, but it barely works. I had to jam my thumb into this thing, which, by the way, jamming your thumb into this thing feels like you're snapping it in half. But then I feel like I could look at this thing wrong and snap it in half. To its credit, though, it is actually 32 gigs. So there is 32 gigs of storage on this, which means that, at the very least, I have a 32 gig flash drive that requires a cable. Another thing that really bothered me is you see the, uh, microphone jack, which by the way, according to the manual, should actually be right here. If you look at the microphone jack, and you look at the actual, I mean, it doesn't look like this thing can even fit in there. And at first, I thought that was the case, because I only got it about that far, and I'm like, well, shit, it doesn't even fit the form factor. To get the headphones into this MP3 player, you have to really... You have to jam them in. Now, given how flimsy this thing is, I gotta, I gotta believe that if I jam these things in here more than, I don't know, three times in one sitting, then I'm, I'm gonna like bend this thing and, and break it, or sparks are gonna fly out, or I'll summon some kind of arch demon. The charging unit barely wants to fit in on here. I mean, this thing is you have to jam it in there. I know that's not a problem for regular, not made in five seconds by someone under threat of being imprisoned on some alien planet labor. Now, to its credit, it does have a radio in it, and you can actually record the radio. So... If I lived in, say, 1980-something and recording from the radio was still a thing that conspiracy theorists didn't use exclusively, this might be pretty cool. But then if I lived in 1980, this would be like alien technology and I could reverse engineer it and make a bunch of money. But, you know, that can't happen because I can't get my fucking time machine to work. So, yeah, this thing lists itself as an ebook reader. And, I mean, I know I said it before, but look at the size of this. Who thought ebook reading would be a good function? Yeah, I can see someone like crouching down trying to read like uh I don't know, Dante's Inferno and you're like Wow, that hurts my eyes. Plus this thing, like I said before, this button barely works. So how the fuck do you turn the page? Assuming this is how you turn the page. And it's not some combination of the menu and play button. See, that was another thing I started running into. See, you'd think this middle button here would be select, but it's not. This middle button almost exclusively controls volume. Yeah, you press this down, and then you use these sliders, these, these buttons here, to manipulate the volume. That's how it works. So you don't select with this button. You know what you select with? You select with the menu button. You hit menu... Then you use these buttons to go down to the option, and then you hit menu again, and that opens up the options. Yeah, that's real self-explanatory. Not play, not the center button, 
menu again. Again, to its credit, it works. Despite everything I'm describing about its physical condition, it works. I can't tell if this thing is one of those, like, super flimsy piece of art electronics where if I drop it on the table or I lay it against something wrong, it'll burst into flames. Or it's one of those deceptively sturdy things where I could run this over with a car, pick it up, and it still works. So I'm kind of torn on this. On one hand, I am sort of inclined to try and get my money back, which I can. There is a return policy on the seller's eBay page. And, you know, get $16 back, which, okay, I'm not gonna shake a stick at $16. $16 is a lot of money if you don't have $16. But I'm torn because it does function. And it's cheap enough to where I feel like, I don't know, I could, I could take it apart and make sure it still worked and, like, put it into something, like, as a prop, you know? Because, I mean, I don't know, I just have a feeling that at some point I'm going to make a miniature that's going to need, I don't know, some kind of advertising screen and this thing plays video. And, you know, just build the guts into, like, a screen in the background and have it play. I mean, it'd be really cool. So I'm, I'm torn about this. It's not like I can't do it. I've got everything. I even have the, the little twisty thing. Well, actually, I, I don't have the little twisty thing. But I could put this back, and it's no problem for me to wait around for 16 bucks. But I, I don't know. I, I really want to try and hang on to this. I, I don't, I just have a feeling like it'll be useful at some point. And like I said, it is actually 32 gigs. So what do you guys think? Think I should return it? Think I should hang on to it? Post in the comments below. And as always, have a good day.